My name is uh, Jim Matheson, and I am a principal software engineer. NASA as a whole is an agency. Their mission is to provide or perform safely exploration into space. I work in the ICE group, which is the Integrated Collaborative Environment, and our mission is to provide data, verified data, accurate data, as close to real time as possible to the engineers or the workers in order to allow them to, to do their job. One of NASA's goals is workforce enablement. We have uh, several COTS, commercial off-the-shelf, source systems, applications, engineering, enterprise level for requirements, risk, risk analysis, things like that. Across the agency, the different centers have the same four different software applications to go ahead and manage these things, but uh, there was no way to communicate, no way to share that data. We needed to go ahead at, at real time on the integration level update source system A with source system B if, if those documents change or if that product changed. We needed to go ahead and make it accessible so that way they could track it real time. Also be able to generate reports you know, on demand instead of them having to be pre-done and the data being stale, maybe a week old, because they'd had to generate the old way. We were on BW5 for years. We decided and, and, and looked and did some research, moved to BW6. Uh, that migration has been in process uh, with our, our team. It's ongoing now. Space Launch Systems, or SLS, is a project, uh, one of many that we're working on right now. Imagine the level of sophistication, or the level of engineering that goes in to, put a, to build a rocket and send it up, right? So SLS is working on that. What they have are requirements, risks, risk management, project. They've got the whole gambit of what you, one might think they need for a PLM, product lifecycle management with the system, subsystem, subsystem, because at the end of the day, the, the rocket's gonna be the system, right? So they have to go through everything. Ton of data, ton of uh, verifications, ton of reviews. That used to be manual. And they've created a application through one of our source systems that uses our data, you know, through the ESB to create real-time visual web-based reporting. So that way the senior engineers can go ahead and see not only the uh, actual documentation, the verifications, the waivers, everything that's related to a particular engineering review. And uh, instead of having to create PowerPoints and, or PowerPoint slides and decks and things like that and take them, now they have the ability to go online and do it real time. And not only is it real time as in just being a web interface, it's real time because the data is real. It's fresh. One of the biggest values we've got from the uh, PSG personnel was the education. The education they provided enabled NASA to move forward with their integration. We have had some people say, hey, this stuff really works. Hey, this is really data. Hey, this has really improved my process. Hey, this has really improved my workflow. Hey, I'm more productive. Hey, I can go to sleep at night because I don't have to read 700 pages to find 10 points of data. You know what I mean? So at that level, it has changed the culture. We don't want things to blow up. We don't think, want things to fail, it's expensive. That's where our cost really comes into play, is when things fail. So the better our data is, the more accessible it is, the more value it has, and it, it, it provides an assurance and a, another level of uh, security in the context of like, I feel very comfortable with this. It's signed off, we can go ahead and send this thing on its way.